this rule concerns every unit. The rule is this. Every unit is always a volume presented as its section, a power squared, which is multiplied by its line of action. Being the power of the section always perpendicular to the line of action, so in opposition, it is always referred to its 10 cycle, a power 10 raised to n, that shows itself only as n, because n is the opposition to it, which is given by its decimal log. The line of the action is always expressed by the size of the units, negative powers when referred to the atomic. In every constant unit, the number is always a power in base 10, who appears only in the exponent, since area and the line of action are in opposition and the logarithm decimal is that exact opposition to a power in base 10 that cuts away the power and show only the exponent. This rule is in action in every unit because every unit is always a volume because units in the plants aren't simple components of the volume. A unit is always a volume. Here are some units. In red color, each quantity relative to each subject, which is extrapolated by the absolute of 10 raised to 10 raised to 10 equal to 10 raised to 100. The first power underlined is the frontal area of the volume, afterwards inverted in its decimal logarithm and became a number. The second power is the line of action, sized by the units of the measurement. The third, red colored, is the quantity used by the intelligence to conserve the subject red colored. I have put it in progressive order so that the Planck constant of energy is conceived through the power 10 raised to minus 1 Faraday constant by a power 10 raised to 1 and so on I show them all uh, the power sublined become numbers through the decimal logarithm because our areas perpendicular to lines, to lines of action and so different from powers in base 10. One is a power in base 10. The other is inverted in the contrary logarithm that 
annihilated the power and so it remain a simple number, uh, number. but uh, it is evident that that number is uh, the power of, of the front of the transversal area because uh, isn't uh, one but numbers of one please pay attention in uh, the units uh, that uh, I have uh, shown uh, um, I am uh, not uh, interested by the dimension negative or positive one because uh, uh, the big is the plenty when uh, we have it, it in the atomic dimension the exponent become negative because uh, it is the inversion of uh, this plenty Have you understood?